Hey, what's up guys? How is it going? It's Dakota Richmond here, and today we are going to be discussing... Basically, I'm going to zero somebody out, and so I'm going to talk to you guys kind of like what you have to do to try to zero somebody out this big. Um, now, this guy was like somewhere around 300 million might, had 4 million troops. Basically, if this guy had the tier 2 front line, this guy would have been a walking trap, or pretty close to it. Now, what inspired me to hit this guy is he has about a billion ore. Now, of course, I do have uh, some of the maxed out familiars. So I've each one of those, uh, Jazik and Magma Lord, those 40% drops on those, plus Pyrus, which isn't upgraded all the way. It's like up to 7, I think. Now, of course, I want to pop a 50% boost, and you want to test his phalanx. So the main thing with, like, any major target that you're going to solo out, like anybody like this in this case... Okay, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, it's probably going to be like a 400 plus red dead on your end kind of thing, but you'll be able to zero him out. Now, obviously, if he's online, the possibility of this failing is actually fairly high, but <laughs> I'm going with the hunch this guy's probably not going to get online in time. So we're going to go ahead and send some tier two, and then we're going to send basically a chunk of siege to try and drop his wall. Uh, now, of course... This is more of a one-time thing. Obviously, uh, once those siege get killed, they're done as far as I'm concerned because I don't really care about them. Uh, and really, if I need siege, frankly, I just build siege. But really, I don't even need to because of Helldrider. Um, but so for this, you want to go ahead and scout them right away and see what units got wounded. Obviously, this only applies really in this case where I can see that he's not anti-scouted. So there I can see he's got 100,000 grunts and archers. Obviously, probably an imp phalanx, so I'm going to go ahead and swap to my gear. Uh, now, in this case, I'm going to go cav gear. So, if he's in imp phalanx, the chances are I'll hit him hard as much as possible uh, going in cav phalanx. Now, if you want to make use of that four troop manipulation, what you'll do is you'll put your cav in the back. Uh, that's just kind of the idea. Now, you can see it's about 63-ish million across, which is about the average cost that it's going to take based every single hit like now regardless even though this is siege that i just wiped it's going to be pretty similar for the other troop types now granted i have the subsidies up to 10 so i've already i've already kind of minimized my damage on this as much as possible i went range phalanx and then put in the cav and obviously uh at this point you know i'm i'm, I'm fiddling with my familiars a little bit like for example, I happen to have Goblin at level 10, so I was like, well, I want to try and do as much damage as, as I can possible, so I went ahead and swapped to that, and basically now we're just going to go ahead and take a real swing at him. Um, now, again, you know, I want to make sure I get my army boost in there, because this guy is fairly big. Now, in that first hit, you can see I got my leader uh, brought back to me, thanks to the Helldrider uh, leader ability. Which is actually fairly useful because sometimes it, not always, but sometimes it'll trigger like that and it'll work very similar to having the bunny. Um, but in my case, I got pretty lucky. And so I was able to get my leader back. So I went ahead and scouted him again. And this time I can get kind of a better idea of what he's still got. So there it's 148,000. I filled his end firm. But you can see I barely got a dent in all the troops. But obviously, you know. I, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't want to stop. All right, like once I start, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just stop where I'm at. Obviously, you guys have seen me trap. Like, I'm willing to go all in, and because this solo is something I've never done before, I thought, yeah, I've never gambled on something this big, but you know what? Let's go ahead and give it a shot, right? Um, so again, like here, another 150k, but this time he's got my leader. Am I going to stop? Mm -mm. Nope, I'm just going to keep going. Now, obviously, this is where, you know, it gets expensive fast, but I'm not going to stop. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and check and see what he's got. And you can see he's got some infantry left in there. He's got a little bit, you know, some stuff in there left. Obviously, his infirm's full. I can see that. So there's no reason to stop at this point. Now, obviously, yeah, the attrition part of this is obviously pretty high. Like, I'm, I'm taking a fair amount of reds. Uh, to give you an idea, it, it's like... Probably about a hundred thousand plus, uh, you know, in terms of reds on both tier four and tier two. Uh, if I was using tier three for uh, buffer, which I'm not, I'm I didn't ch I chose not to this time around because I've been using tier two as buffer just because I happen to have a lot of it. Uh, and of course, you know, in some of these hits, I, I I get a little like 
worried that he might get online. And, and at that point, you know, if he's got my leader, that's not really an ideal situation. We don't want to get this guy, you know, give our leader away and then have him heal. And then I get him or he gets reinforcements, vice versa. We don't want to give them too much time. Uh, so again, looking at it in Phalanx, you can see once the inf front line is gone, then Cav, then range. So the ideal thing is to try and knock out that inf front line as much as possible so that I can very quickly start sending range to counter the cavalry and then hopefully the infantry to clear out the range. Um, now, of course, you know, in my case, this was the first time I've ever done anything like this. And so you're, you're going to find that I did make a slight mistake here, which is that what I, I, I basically chose to do here is that I'm not using my leader anymore. And I'm, I'm a, like leaderless at this point. So there's that plus the fact that yeah, okay, let's just say that, you know, when you are trying to wipe the imp front line with cavalry, <laughs> you can see how that could be a little problematic. Now, see, this, I just started rushing it. I was like, ah, oh, hell, screw it. So I got 38,000. I'm going to just send another cav wave. That's a mistake in my end. I probably should have, pr I, I would probably have, if I had known any better, I probably should have just sent range. But, yeah, I was a little bit rushed and felt like, ah, oh, hell, screw it. I just want to get rid of it, get the front line out of there, get it completely gone. And so like in here, now you can see the infantry is completely gone and there's absolutely no infantry whatsoever left. So at this point, I'm going to swap over and I'm going to start sending range at it. Uh, because the idea here at this point is I'm just going to go ahead and go straight at him and see what I can do. Um, because again, you never really know what you're going to get your hands on. I mean, if... If there's anything to say about it, you know, it's when you're when your leader's captured at this point, it's it's an all stakes game. The risks here are very, very, very high um, for anybody out there that's like wanting to try anything like this. My only recommendation is only do it when you're like in a dead kingdom like I am, because I don't have any fear of anything. If you can get your guildmates to help solo you, uh, that guy out like that's super helpful. Uh, but obviously, in this case, this is the largest target I've ever tried to solo out on my own. Um, you know, and so for that reason, I'm basically going to show you just exactly how I did it, you know. And it's, yeah, it's pretty straightforward at this point. Because now that I've gotten through, you can see here I made a mistake in that I, I didn't heal. You got to make sure you heal, because if you don't, you can see here I lost like another 100,000. I didn't need to lose, uh, because I didn't heal in time. Again, not a big deal, but... Obviously, you can see I lost like 100,000 unnecessary reds there, but he loses 400,000 drakes, which I think kind of evens out the score. Am I right? At this point, he's practically lost most of it, so at this point, I'm just going to start swamping him with infantry and just wipe out what he's got left. Again, you know, the idea being is that I want to try and clear this guy out as quick as I can, because it's not just the fact that, you know, he's, he's a big target or anything, but it's the fact that he's got like a little over a billion ore in there that I need to get access to. And I obviously in this case, I probably, I, I jumped a little too early cause he still had some cav left in there, but either way, okay. I'm what I'm trying to go for at this point. Now that I have my leaders, I just want to clear him out. I'm going to clean him out as quick as I can and try to wipe out what he's got left. Because at this point, this guy is pretty much a done deal. Like it's pretty straightforward from this point forward. I like, I won't take hardly any reds because basically it's infantry versus range. And no matter how much he's got in there, it's never going to make a difference. So, like, there, there's another 700,000 dead. Um, and, again, I'll show you that report you know, here in a bit. But it's, you know, it's, it, it's just terrific how you can really literally swamp this guy to the ground. Obviously, yeah, he, he got a good couple of kills. He went started at 17, got up to, like, 19 after the fact, you know. So, he did get, like, some kills out of, that, out of me, anyway. You know, soloing somebody is probably not as ideal as rallying them. But the benefit of this is that his guild wasn't alerted to the rally. And so I was able to wipe him out completely clean and get all of his resources. Which I think is kind of ideal. Like, for at least for what I'm trying to do, anyway. I mean, obviously, I, I could see it being a little different if I was in any other kingdom. But this is pretty much, at this point, I just went ahead and swapped a garrison gear, whopped over... Uh, to speed gear basically and after the fact I had about 1.5 billion resources